right, back in the pool, 29. All right, we'll do E4. Uh-oh, we got a 2100 this time, so I better go with something that at least can pretend I know. Wants to break the pen, he's gonna have to buy it. I keep harassing the lady. Where's she going? True statement. I'll just apply some pressure. Got to play faster. That's uh, the biggest issue that I'm having right now. to do that, but I feel like I have to do that. And this is a mop-up job at this point. Too many weak pawns. Knight's not good enough in this type of position.
This dangerous thing is the potential of a passer right there. Just need to eliminate that. Hang the pawn. Genius. Could have checked and taken the knight. Okay. First 2100. And we had ourselves a, oh, that closed the game. Uh, weird King's Indian attack. And this is the kind of line that we recommended in the French book because the knight on d2 isn't that great. But knight c6 didn't feel right because I'm able to get a pin immediately. I'm threatening taking on e5. So then that's an inferior square for the bishop. And once we get here, I'm like, okay, if knight takes e4, rook e1, this just doesn't seem like it's going to work out. Because if a move like f5, for instance, I don't know, maybe I've had this beforehand, knight takes e4, queen d5 now. And the threat of bishop takes c6 seems okay. But that was... It's definitely a, a, a plethora of ideas. I mean, another one is just taken here, and I think this is probably the best. And because of the pin, this is just, this is too much fun. Okay, so queen e7, I pin. I don't want to be pinned, so I use the move for that time. But honestly, this is a ridiculous move, h3. Because my plan, I wanted to get the knight to d5. So if I go knight e3 right now, I'm stopping bishop g4. So h3 was just was just dumb. Because now bishop e6, knight d5, it's even stronger than it was in the main game. So h3, and he gets the extra move h6. And he finds the nice move queen e5 here. So then I start harassing the queen. And we get to a pawn structure that I understood, that even though I was a pawn down, he's got a lot of weaknesses. And, I mean, right here, I'm already threatening 97. So I got the most out of it that way. Now, at this point, I don't want to let the pawns get too far advanced, because, I mean, b4, c3. So he should probably play a move like king h7 here to keep, keep tension. But b takes f a4 is, is essentially a resignation because the knight just cannot post anywhere to hold any of the pawns. And the only counterplay he could potentially have is with e3, e2. So all you really need to do here is stop it. So I would be willing to give up the b pawn in order to get some play over here. And here I hung the b pawn. And that's that. So, still playing mediocre games, but that was pretty decent. Playing E4 and uh, I guess a 2100.